So I was heading to a North Carolina Board of Realtors meeting on Friday of this past week in Greensboro, so I had some time to think. And I was thinking about this real estate market and where we stand right now, and um, just had some thoughts I wanted to put out there into the ether. <laughs> um, so way back in 2007, the reason that market crashed was several factors but the main factors were we overbuilt the housing market across the united states we we're building too many houses for population demand um, there's about 330 million people in the united states we add about three million people per year to the population they grow up they get married they want to have a house so we can add about 1.2 million houses to the inventory every year new home construction just to keep up with the population growth um, we got past that number in 2007 and that was one of the reasons for the crash was we overbuilt the popul overbuilt the inventory the other thing was we started doing no income no asset verification loans basically loaning money to people that probably shouldn't have qualified for a mortgage and then the housing prices were getting inflated um, due to some appraisal techniques that probably were not um, the best for housing market. I don't want to really go into that, but um, the point was we ever built the inventory, we were given loans to people that shouldn't have been able to get loans, and then the rent rates started getting better than the housing rates. So you could rent a house for less than your monthly mortgage payment would be if you were to buy that same house. And I think ultimately that's what corrected that market, was buyers basically just said no more. And now a lot of times what happens when interest rate hikes happen is it doesn't actually stop people from buying a house, but people that could buy a $400,000 house and that monthly payment was comfortable for them. Now they can only buy a $350,000 house and then they can buy a $325,000 house and then they can buy a $300,000 house as the interest rates go up the monthly mortgage payments in order to keep them at a level that they can afford they actually buy less of a house. So it actually causes the upper end of the market to start to have longer days on market and it forces more people into the lower part of the market you know and right now two hundred three hundred thousand dollars unfortunately is the low part of the market around the charlotte region so that will put even more pressure on the houses that are in that two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar price point is what i see happening so could that cause buyers to start stepping out of the market just staying where they are for a while will it cause a second home purchases to slow down i definitely think it's going to cause second home purchases to slow down because people that are financing those those interest rates are going to be even more affected because typically you're buying you know a little bit higher priced home and also the interest rate on a second home purchase is usually higher than if it was your primary residence so all those things I think could affect slowing the housing market down a little bit but I have to go back and say well right now we're at the lowest inventory we've ever seen in history I think the, the inventory got down to about three months three and a half months of inventory back in 2007 balance market is five to seven months of inventory over seven months of inventory is a buyer's market. Under five months of inventory is a seller's market. We got down to about three and a half months of inventory across the Charlotte region. We are less than 30 days of inventory across the Charlotte region now. That is a stupid low number. I mean, unhealthy low number. So if interest rates do go up, does that push us back up to a more healthy number? You know five months of inventory maybe and would that be a good thing yeah that would actually be a good thing you know we really can't sustain 15 20 percent appreciation year over year that's just not 
sustainable people's income is not keeping up with a 15 to 20 percent appreciation of home prices. So we do need to slow this market down a little bit. I know <laughs> coming from a real estate agent, you might think that's shocking to hear that we need to slow down the price appreciation um, because I do get paid on commission and the higher the price, the more commission I get paid typically. So, but we do. In order for this market to be healthy, we need to slow down the appreciation some and we need to do it soon or we're going to overheat this market and it's going to have a big crash. So it's possible some interest rate hikes would actually be good for the real estate market to bring the appreciation number down a little bit to slow the market just a little bit. I hope that's helpful. If you have any real estate needs, please give me a call. 704-902-4700 is my personal cell phone number. Thanks. Talk to you later.